Hey, Simmers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two and an original house design in my town, Sims Landing. So even though I've been saying for a while that I don't have room in my town for any more houses, I ended up building a house anyway. So what motivated you to knock down one of your precious properties? Well, I started out building a house in your town, and then uh-huh. I realized it was actually a pretty good house. And well, what I had here originally was a beach side escape, which is one of the pre-built houses in the game, and it was sort of, you know, I had made some changes to it, but then I don't know, I just had it for a while, and I figured I liked this house design better than the beach side escape. So basically, you built something in my town, realized it was too good for Sims Peaks. <laughs> So you moved it to Sims Landing. It's still in Sims Peaks, so... No, it's going to get knocked down soon enough. <laughs> anyway, this is the house, and it's on the mainland, of course, next to this lighthouse and also the Steve Jobs house, which we've mm-hmm. previously done a video of on the channel. And here we go. So actually, the inspiration for this house is from some architectural plans that I found on the internet. I really love looking at house designs, I love looking at architectural plans, and unfortunately, because of the limitations of Sims Freeplay, not every house is going to work trying to build it in the game, but that one just really seemed like it would. So I'm actually going to link to the architectural plans in the video description below if you guys are interested in seeing that. And I'm also planning to do a let's build of this house, so look out for a video of that in the near future. So, basically, it's a one-story house on a premium lot, and this is the porch here. You can get in through these double front doors, and this is the entry hall. So, at the time of this recording, we've just had the Baby Steps update drop, and one of the new features of that update is you can now turn paintings into wall decorations. So the painting easel comes from the hobby store and it's just a hobby that your sims who are artists can practice for like three hours at a time. But now what you can do is tap on the painting when the sim is done with it and it immediately goes into your inventory in the decoration section of the home store and you can hang it on the wall. And you can also hang it above furniture. Yes. And actually, you can now do that with other wall hangings as well. So for instance, this teen poster goes above this dresser. Above a dresser and behind a TV. Yes. So this is really cool. It just adds that much more kind of interesting stuff we can do with decorations in our houses. And I think there's six or nine or 12. There's a number more than six of the different paintings you can get from doing the painting hobby. Yeah, we'll see a few of those as we go Different ones to decorate with. So this house has an interesting structure in that the hallway goes along this way and there's a bit of a nook on the left side here which has doorways onto this shared bathroom here and two of the three bedrooms in the house. So bedroom number one is over here. That doorway opens onto a bit of a weird shape to lead into the room itself and that weird shape here which is i made it out of like a one by two room and then put an open doorway here that weird shape allows for a closet so that this is yeah this is a really cool closet you know you can imagine there'd just be a rail in there you don't need to put a wardrobe in there yeah exactly it's just yeah a a walk more like a proper walk-in closet yeah So the Sims who live in this house are a pair of mothers and their teenage daughter. What you'll see here, though, is that the the two kids' bedrooms in the house are both, I would say, geared towards girls. So in my mind, maybe the daughter used to live in this room, (laughs) which is a bit younger. Some of the furnishings are for preteens. Yeah. And... Then, as she got older, she decided she wanted a bit more independence, and so this is her room now. So this is the teen room. So she can now creep in at night. Yeah. (laughs) And her parents won't hear her. Exactly. She's also the teen idol for my town, so that's why she has this keyboard here. So that's, we got, yeah, the other bedroom we took a a sneak peek look at, but Mm -hmm. it's designed very similarly to the... 
exactly. the first one with that little kind of nook alcove yeah. into doing a one by two and then a one by four closet. walk-in closet. Yeah. So the rooms are the same size. It's just that the yeah. teens' room has a few more windows on this side facing the front of the house. Yeah. So and they both share that bathroom with the double sinks. Yes. So moving further along the hallway, that opens out onto what is called the great room. So this is it. It's got some Latin furniture as well as red furniture from the product red charity update for Apple users, which is a limited time event a while back. And yeah, I just went for a very big open space, put the red piano in the corner here because it's a musical family. And that great room opens onto this kitchen here. So the kitchen has these countertops with an island with red stools here. The red stools were from another limited time event. And here is a breakfast nook. I think this is my favorite area of your entire house. It's just such a cool design having the wraparound tan sofa and then that big table. Yeah. Occupying. I know you can't use any of the no. <laughs> spaces. Can you use the ones nearest the front? No, no unfortunately, I, I'm not sure that... If, well, we'll see. Can a sim move there? I don't think that they can. Yeah, I think, I think the sim gives some, you those yeah. those feet over their head and they refuse to do it. But, yeah, but it looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like I the idea. I know they can't use it, but I think it looks really good. Yeah. So that kitchen opens onto this more formal dining room, which has a few more of the paintings... And again, some red chairs from the Product Red update. I think that's a nice room. I think the great room is, yeah, my second favourite mm. place so far. I think it really shows how with a big, even like a big square room, which is basically what you have, mm -hmm. with well-positioned furniture and putting the right amount of furniture in, it can work really, really well. Yeah, and I just also like that the kitchen is open to it via these doorways. Yeah. So, you know, it's not going to be exactly like the architectural plans that I found, but it was my best mm -hmm. approximation of it. Yeah, we had the same with the Steve Jobs house. Yeah. It's hard to recreate it perfectly. Yeah. But recreating actual houses does actually take up an awful lot of space. Yeah. So that's why this is not This is a three-bedroom house. It's not huge, but it takes up most of the premium lot. Yeah. And that's the same for my original uh, dream house and also for our Jobs houses. So the great room then goes back onto another small hallway and off of there is a door to a powder room for guests here. And then the door to the master bedroom, which is here. Ooh, that is a big room. Yeah. So because it's the master bedroom, I figured they should get mm -hmm. a little more room, obviously. They need lots of running around space. <laughs> that master bedroom has its own bathroom here with separate toilet from the vanity and shower and bath area mm -hmm. and big closet here. And I oh, had yeah. sort of an idea for an extension on the closet, which would be for like storage or linens or something like that. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I, I, th that. I think the original architectural plans had this master bathroom area configured a little bit differently, but it was sort of the best that I could do and I figured would work for the Sims and this family. And then there's actually a basement to this house, which is not part of the original architectural version, but I wanted to add some guest rooms, so I built a basement for that. And the basement also has this extra playroom, it's got exercise equipment, ping pong table, charades, and another TV and couch. Then back here are the two guest bedrooms, guest bathroom in the middle, and I also wanted an office in the house because there wasn't a lot of workspace. So this little room here is just meant to be an office. And then on the other side of the staircase are the requisite laundry room and utility room, which has become a sort of standard feature in many of my basements now. Very nice. So going back up to the main floor, the living room opens onto a patio here. So basically the great room is the hub for the entire house. Yeah. Then that patio opens onto a separate pool area. There's also a back door 
which oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah opens onto a separate yard area. And here is a pool house, I guess you would call it, or just an outdoor house where people can come in, get some shade and refreshments, and also shower and use the toilet. <laughs> since this is a beach house, you know, it's functions for both the pool and people who've been hanging out on the beach. And before you guys ask, the way that I got stuff out on the beach area outside the fence is through some old glitches in the game, which no longer work, unfortunately. So I think actually in your version, which I built in your town, instead of a separate pool house here, I had a driveway and garage because yeah. that was what the original architectural plans called for. But given that you get a parking spot here anyway for a car, I decided in my version to just make a separate pool house, which I haven't actually done in any of my houses before. So, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's the so, first. Exactly. Hopefully this has been an interesting house to take a tour of with you guys. And as I said, look out for the Let's Build video, which will be coming to our channel soon. Yep, I think this will be a great one to build because it's got a great flow through the house, lots of space, and just a nice division of different functions. Yeah. As you go through. Yeah, that's why I really liked it. Mm -hmm. I had had the architectural plans saved on my computer for a few months actually before I decided to try and build yeah. it in The Sims Replay and it was just sort of like this would be a house that I would love to live in in real life. Well thanks so much for building it and for sharing it with us today. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, let us know what you think in the comments below and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos and make sure you can catch the Let's Build when it comes out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>